I got a juice, 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 What's up, what's up? You're watching Still Got The Juice TV, and today our featured artist is Jackie the Baby. All right, I want to get to know you better, because um, you have elements in your artistry as a hip-hop artist that I, I definitely feel like makes you stand out. But I want to know, why do they call you Jackie the Baby? Like, where did your name come from? First it was just Jock. Growing up it was just Jock in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So I had a good like little lane of just, I was into certain music. I had a lot of people copying a lot of things that I was doing. So I felt like it was Jock and I had some from. And then it was just like, I ain't want all the dudes <clears throat> calling me Jock or, you know. So I was like, the music I was going for more the lane was just more for the ladies. So it was just like, you know, Jock and the baby. Okay. I didn't expect you to say that. <laughs> I, I thought it was like Jock, like you basically not saying you running games lyrically, but like that's the way I kind of thought it was gonna be. I didn't think it was something with the ladies, but okay. Yeah, I just had a lot of people following a lot of things I was doing before, so I've been Jock for a long time. Okay. I know that you told us you're from the Bronx. I want to know how has your hometown, I guess, being from the Bronx influenced you as an artist? It influenced me a lot. I've been through good and bad, mm -hmm. but you know, I take it for what it's given for. Definitely. It's, it's definitely like, it definitely comes with a lot of lessons, so you know, I appreciate both good and bad, like I said. Is there a Bronx artist that you would see yourself working with in the future? Bronx artist. Dead or alive, so that's why. Starting over. Yeah, I'm kind of like giving myself a whole reset. Like, I took a whole little lane of redemption, took a lot of, like I said, lessons and blessings at the same time. I don't ever take a loss. I like how you said that, uh, I like a reset to me for redemption. Okay. Um, a lot of people say that's a hiatus. Some people say they get locked up. Things just happen. Life happens. Yeah. Do you feel like with this reset, like now you're serious? Now this is hitting. It got a hit for what it got a hit for. Yeah, I know, like, <clears throat> I know over the obstacles and the times of, like, the times that I did ways before, mm -hmm. I know it was just, like, you know, it's about what you, like, how you step. So it's like, if you're not stepping correctly, honestly, and you know what you want, if you're not stepping towards it, it's not going to come to you. And the worst thing somebody could say is no. <laughs> the worst thing you could do is try again, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. But if you want it, it's gonna happen. You just gotta make it happen. You gotta make it happen. Nobody's gonna make it happen for you. And that's you're, what I'm You're very optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm definitely inspired by that. How do you plan to evolve musically? I'm planning to stay focused. Um, I wanna definitely, like I said, I'll be finding my lane, finding myself. Um, I do find a good lane of music and I feel like a good genre, I would say. And it's just like I'm keeping it humble. I'm not chasing after no nothing, no other like new music or new sounds. I'm staying in like what makes me comfortable and what keeps me like, you know, level headed. Okay. Cause a lot of this music nowadays. There's a lot going on. <laughs> yeah. You mentioned that music helped you overcome obstacles. Can you elaborate on that? And how is it your coping mechanism? I would say like so music helped me overcome a lot of obstacles. Like I took a lot of like I had a lot of since young I lost a lot of friends since like I was like seventeen. So I done seen a lot of things over the years. I done seen the closest ones to me pass away. I done seen a lot of snake stuff. I done seen a lot of like people just turn on those that was truly there for them. And I watch people have opportunities that they could help others and you know they kind of like got selfish in their own ways and things happen, the tables kind of turn in their own ways, you know? Mm. Yeah. So we said off camera, that's 
basically you saying that music is your your source of therapy. Yeah, it definitely helps me. It definitely mm-hmm. keeps me where I need to be. As far as what I feel where I need to be. I know there's more to come. Definitely. Let's talk about you as a Jada Kiss fan. Jada Kiss definitely is an artist that's lyrical. Okay? Definitely. So I I know why I love Jada Kiss, <laughs> but what aspect of him as an artist is where you resonate with? Like his consistency. What? Just Talk about it. Like his like his consistency with staying relevant and honestly like I feel like I watched it over a long a little time of my you know, of my own. And it's just like I feel like he never lost his stuff. And then without even trying to be relevant sometimes, it's just like it's just coming regardless. Like it's gonna happen. And he would never let me down. Listen, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> for me, I feel like Jada Kiss is that hip hop uncle that says he can do things. Yeah. And in the back of your mind, like, nah, nigga, you ain't never did that. And he's yeah. done it all. Yeah. So I definitely love Jada Kiss. Yeah. Can you tell us more about your concept behind the upcoming mixtape, Feel My Struggle? Yeah, Feel My Struggle. Um, I feel like, like I said, I, I don't speak a lot, so I, I hold in a lot of certain things, and like I said, this is the first time that I'm definitely trying to take this tape and take this music and the steps that I'm taking seriously, and I'm really trying to make sure that I get a lot of things done, so I'm not going to throw all the eggs in one basket because there's always more music to come, but I definitely want to drop this tape to kind of drop off a little of what I'm coming with and what I'm about to bring to the table. This is just like the start. Okay, what can you, what can listeners expect to hear? I got a lot of untold pain that I feel a lot of people can relate to, and a lot of people don't speak on it, but just like me, I haven't spoken on a lot of things, but in time, you know, we all do, mm-hmm. and me, I feel like the same way music kind of helped me, and I feel like certain artists spoke to me through their music, I feel like I got some. I'm not going to bite my tongue for y'all. Like, I'm definitely going to drop some music that everybody could relate to, both male and female. That's needed. A hood and love, like, you know? Mm-hmm. And I definitely stand on business when it comes to it. <laughs> Speaking of business, look at us just flowing. What made you decide to venture into merchandising your logo? And how do you plan to integrate it into your brand? Because I believe it's what you have on today, am I assuming? Nah, this is money dreams. I like, I like supporting other artists. I like supporting what's the upcoming fashion. Shout out to money, money dreams. dreams. Definitely shout out to money dreams. Um, honestly, it's it's just like this. It's things mm-hmm. like this that remind me that I can do something, and it's just things, just as something simple, just as money dreams. You want to come back with your stuff more though, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. <laughs> Next time I step back, I definitely got a lot of a lot of things in the merch coming on. I got a lot of. I'm looking at different things because of the summer's coming in, so it's kind of giving me a little twist, but I get a little time to play with what I'm about to drop, so okay. that's definitely going to be the works. Like I said, both male and female, so ladies going to have merch too. Let's go. All right. So, earlier you said you're still trying to rebrand and still discovering your sound, but you mentioned wanting to collaborate with up-and-coming artists to us. Yes, definitely. What qualities do you look for? Um, I feel like the hunger, mm. the hunger, the fact that I definitely want, I definitely want artists that's not, like I said, not chasing the hype. Mm-hmm. They just being true to themselves, being true to what they going through, what they've been through. Those that you know what I'm saying was around them, not around them, still around them. So it's like there's a lot to come with. I feel like, like I said, I'm gonna have pain a lot of people to relate to. And if I could relate to a lot of artists that I would like to work with, I feel like there's going to be a lot of good music coming to follow back on that. Are you one of those artists that's cool with a, um artist just walking on a track with you? Like, not even walking over you, but doing they, they big ones oh, yeah, when they I love 16. Because outside of that, I think only Nikki said, like, I want you to do your big one on the track. Like, don't yeah, hold back. Yeah, don't hold back. I don't want nobody to hold back on me. That's motivation. <laughs> Definitely. I want somebody to be like, look at me like, I ain't gonna lie, bro, I cooked you on it. <laughs> because it's like, when it's my time, I like to, I like to be able to talk my talk too. <laughs> so, and it's like, it's, 
it's not even like it's, it's, it's friendly competition you know what I'm saying it's an outlet like it's, I said, it's, it's therapeutic it's to me yeah. so it's like it's an outlet let's play this is just like basketball let's, let's get this game on <laughs> I'm definitely with you on that one we are only a few months into 2024. Do you have any other plans going on besides coming back to us? And like, can you give us a little glimpse on the rest of your year? Um, Outside of dropping the next day. I definitely wanna, okay, so before the years, in mid-year, going toward the mid-year, I definitely wanna drop some um, summer vibes. So I mm. definitely got some, like I said, I do music for the ladies, so I definitely got some summer vibes coming. Some good music that the ladies could, you know, get their jam on. If you're in the house, if you're outside, you're definitely trying to make that happen. Um, Feel My Struggles definitely going to drop this year. Waiting. And then towards the end of the year, just like Fabulous, I always said it. Fabulous always drops something at the end of the year. So mm -hmm. Four quarter. Yeah, I need that four quarter running. Like, I ain't miss a step. Just to remind them, like, this redemption and this comeback was for a purpose. Listen, so... I want to thank you for dropping in and giving us a one mic performance, our first one mic performance, which I thought was very clever and on brand. Definitely. Thank you. I appreciate you guys for having me. <laughs> I can't wait to see you again. But before you leave us, last but not least, tell us why you still got the juice. I still got the juice because it's redemption is for real. <laughs> That's a fact. Y'all can see That's a fact. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Jackie the baby, and it's a wrap.